Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my current favorite protective style, my current favorite wig. And I'm gonna show you guys how I wear it. I've worn it in about, I think, one or two videos, and I plan to make a whole video on it. So, this is it. Welcome to the video. Um, and this video, where is it? Where is it? I'm featuring the Outre. Quick, no, I'm lying. Yeah, Outre Big Beautiful Hair Quick Weave. And it is in the style 4C Curly. And it is in the color 1B. And it apparently is heat resistant. I didn't know that. So just now, this is how the thing looks. Ta da. And yeah, I've worn it like, I want to say like five or six or like more than that times. I really don't wear wigs often. This is probably my second wig. I have another wig video up, I will link it above here, and I bought both of these wigs at the same time, and when I do pick it up, usually it's like for nighttime when I have my hair twisted up right, I don't feel like taking it out, or it's really, really humid outside, I'll put this wig on and I'll rock it, and people always compliment me on it, they always think it's my real hair. People that don't know me, people that know me know it's not my real hair. So anyways, the style is in 4C, 4C coily, yes, and... This is what it looks like. Mind you, it's not fresh out the bag. Mind you, I've worn it a lot. Not a lot, I've worn it. So it's a little bit frizzy, definitely frizzy. Definitely, um, yeah, it shows it's war. It shows that I have worn it. What am I talking about? So I love this wig, I really do. I think it's super convenient. For someone that isn't a wig person, for someone that doesn't know anything about wigs, like anything at all, what's happening in my outfit? I'm falling apart. It's really, really dope. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to wear it. I don't just put it on my head and wear it like that because it looks really, really hella, hella, hella fake. And we don't really wanna look hella, hella, hella fake, like personally to each his own, right? So all you're gonna need, if you have a wig like this, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little style and give a little bit of review on this hair. Um, on this hair, let me put it in the camera. That's how it looks, guys, this is how it looks. And the color 1B, once again. Um, all I'm gonna need is two point tail holders and a couple of bobby pins. I took out a whole sheet, but I need like a couple. So my hair is pulled back into like a low bun right now because I just a fresh twist out. So the hair is still very flat to my head, not stretched at all. So I'm gonna get my wig cap. I was like, child, where my wig cap go? Normally I would have my hair in twists back here, but just for the video, I just put in a low bun and we're gonna get it cracking. Put on the wig cap. And you see my hair pretty much goes adheres to it pretty good. Let me get a mirror. I'm wearing it as a half wig, obviously. If you can already tell, I have the front sections of my hair out. And my hair and this hair is not very similar. Um, it's not super, super far apart, but it's not very similar. So I just feel like it's not 4C. Like, this is definitely not 4C. This is like 3C hair. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Come on, Outre, but it was super cheap, like hella cheap. I will link that obviously in the box down below. I'm just gonna pop it on. It has two combs, one back here and one right here. So I put the comb underneath the wig cap and just secure it like that. If you're a wig person, you know exactly how you wanna secure your wig. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks right now. I just tuck it under and then you can adjust it however you want. It has a strap, so but I don't really mess with that. I just leave it, cause I mean, I'm not wearing this wig all day, so I never really like tighten it. It's tight enough with the two combs for me. See, like, this looks really nice if I blended it with my hair better, but I like to do, well, I'm gonna show you how I do. And this looks the most natural, in my opinion. So I make sure like I kind of part the hair part the wig yeah, but not in this bad boy see it's been worn down the middle a little bit and from in the camera it could be worn like this people do wear their wigs like this you can put a cute little scarf on right here and kill it okay um, I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna grab the front portion of my hair and I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit 
I'm gonna fluff out the roots mainly, not the, I'm not gonna take the whole twist like apart. And I'm just gonna fluff out the roots to give me some volume and this will help cover up the beginning of the wig. And we're just gonna take this, I'm grabbing some of the wig hair now and then I got a little bit of fallout. I don't know what, this wig is cheap y'all. You know what happens with cheap hair. If you're wig wear, I'm not, but I know I hair all the time, so I just said it. So I have some wig hair and I have my hair. And then I'm just gonna take it and put it into a little pony on top of my head. I put it in a high pony because I'm more concerned with covering up this section than I am this portion. So I take it like so. And I make a little bun and then I take the wig hair and you see me like just covering up my hair and twisting it around I only care that the front of my hair looks like the hair is growing out of my scalp all I care about and if you have like a super tight twist out it'll blend better but child don't care this is the first bun for me the closer it is to the middle the better because it just helps add some volume and that hides where the wig starts it hides right here because you don't want to see this you don't want to see the wig starts and I just fluff this so it looks like two cute messy Minnie Mouse buns and then I just fluff the rest of this hair you can bring this wig hair forward to hide where this part of the wig starts but you really can't see that the wig is so fluffy that it really hides it. And people will see me and they're always like, oh, your hair looks so good, la la la. People don't really know me. Because my hair is not this texture at all. <laughs> at all. 4C who, 4C where. But I think it's so freaking pretty. I have my hair in this little low bun underneath that you can't even tell. I love the shape of this wig. Oh my gosh. So let's go into the, what I think about the wig. I've been saying this whole time. But this wig is bomb. It's cheap. The color is really, really natural looking. It's not super shiny. It definitely is a little bit shiny, but it's not super shiny. Like, it looks super, super fake. Like, it looks okay. People have told me it looks natural. The cut of it, it comes cut like this. I did not cut this hair, okay? I am not the person that goes around cutting wigs and doing stuff to wigs. It ain't me. But this has, like, a super cute... Like natural shape to it I love that if I was to do my edges and you know baby hair and all that which I usually do when I do my hair like this it's killing them okay and I love it I love this wig um would I buy another one I probably would try some other wigs like this before I bought a repeat of this one but I'm really impressed and this is how I make it look natural let me know in the comments my edges are crying let me know in the comments what you guys think of this if you guys think it looks natural and give me some tips on how you make your half wigs and all that stuff look super natural my wardrobe has been falling apart this entire video so yeah guys that's it super duper quick video introducing you guys to my new favorite wig that i just think is really really cute for everyday wear for a natural look the other wig that i tried on that i also have that's for more of a dramatic photo shoots going out type of look at least for me I don't think that I can rock all that hair on my head this I can do because my hair is pretty much this big it can actually get bigger than this wig is so I can deal with this I'm rambling now I will see you guys in my next video I hope that you enjoyed this one give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it's your first time seeing me my name is Lexi and we do natural hair makeup a little bit of outfits it's coming it's coming don't worry bye guys oh yeah so subscribe like my point subscribe support your girl bye